Today we have a 2007 Chevy Trailblazer. Uh, we have the speaker here. Uh, seems like all the speakers work at times, and then sometimes one or two drop out, or they all drop out at the same time. Uh, we've seen two different problems with this vehicle. Uh, one is an FM problem, where it seems like the speakers drop out or have low audio. So if you have that problem, uh, check AM as well. If the AM works fine, then this is not a speaker problem. Uh, we have neighbors working out here today, so I'm going to try and talk over their noise. Uh, so we're going to remove the door panel and hook up a known working speaker here. Uh, this car happens to have a tweeter up here in the door along with the larger speaker down lower in, under this panel here, but you can't pry the panel off. Uh, when the speakers go out, we can still hear the tweeter, which tells us the stereo is working, but we're getting no audio. So we're going to start with taking our pry tool and prying the panel up that goes along the top of the dash here with the uh, and this is held in by clips and the clips will release with a little bit of pry pressure and these clips can be a little bit tough we got one at the back here and one up here on the front release the two clips. There's one clip fits here, one fits here. Uh, presently both silver clips are remaining on this panel so we don't have to remove them from the holes to put them on. Now with this removed there are triggers on the connectors here. On the front connector here there's a trigger that we need to lift up to allow the connector to release. On the second there's a trigger on the connector that we need to push down to get this to release. Well actually try and push it down and wiggle the connector loose. You can see how it latches on on top. We're going to remove that one. This one has the trigger on it as well. We can just push down on this one. It lifts up. And we're going to remove this panel and set it to the side. As for the driver's door, we have a, a, a few differences. One is there's an extra connector. Again, lift the, push down on the trigger on it and it releases. Uh, this one is a lift up trigger. I'm going to lift the trigger up on this. And we also have one of the other differences is the uh, mirror adjust here on the door. So we're going to show you how to get past that one for the driver's door. Next we're going to take our 10 millimeter socket. And right here in this opening is a 10 millimeter bolt which we're going to remove. We have many removal guides on our website. You can find us at carstereohelp.com. We do repair of most car stereo and uh, have removal guides for many things and we add them daily. Now there's a second 10 millimeter screw that's down right about here and we get at it from this angle. I'm gonna get this 10 millimeter screw as well. Okay, that one is loose. Next we're going to come back with our pry bar and we're going to pry the panel off from around the door hold here. There are clips that release when you pry it loose. And this is going to remove that panel. Next we're going to start at the very front top edge here and pry the front edge back because there is a clip here as well and the clip will release and come back. On this one we lost the clip. It stayed on the door panel, but then we're going to come back and start at the very back of the panel and start to pry these clips loose. We're going to work up the back, across the bottom, and up the front as well. We have one more clip here at the back that's not releasing. There we go. Now we're going to pull the bottom of the panel out away from the door a bit so that the door handle will pass over the opening here. Pull the front back and lift the panel up and away from the door. We're going to feed our connectors through. And in some cases, at the courtesy light here, there is a bolt light bulb on some models, and you have to disconnect that and remove that. Now, I had mentioned losing a clip earlier. We're going to take our pry bar and pry the clip. Try the clip that remained on the door, off of the door, and these clips will uh, 
slide back into the opening on the door and it'll be here for when we put this door panel back together. Next we're going to move on to the speaker here. We have a looks like uh, maybe seven millimeters that are holding this in place. Seven millimeter here, one seven millimeter at the bottom here. And one at the very front. Now this takes the whole speaker plate out of the vehicle. Presently, when we turn the stereo on, we're getting just this tweeter working. This speaker is making no sound. connector here at the front. And if we get this off here, we can turn it around. This one has a push down trigger on it. We're going to push the trigger down and remove that as well. Now there are also four screws securing this speaker in place, which is usually the defective speaker. And we find aftermarket speakers go right in place here. This is how you remove the uh, speakers from a Chevy Trailblazer. Hope this video has been helpful. See our other videos at carsterohelp.com along with our removal guides for help with getting it out of the car to get it into the shop. Now the, uh, the uh, mirror adjust is one of the connectors that comes around and plugs into the control panel here. Uh, one of the other things when it comes to checking the panel for all the panel clips and installing the panel back in the, uh, on the door, we have on the back of the panel a guide here and this guide has to go in the guide up here at the top of the door all the way across in order to sit in and sit down to have everything line up and push it back into sight. Hope this video has been helpful. Hope you've watched the complete video to see how to remove both door speakers. Check our website for removal of the rear door speakers as well. That one will be added soon. And see our carstereohelp.com Thank you for watching.